Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 6 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. In this video, we will be talking about reporting in Cucumber for Selenium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 5 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of that part. And since the reporting is kind of big, I have split this part into two, part A and part B. So in this part, we'll be talking about a little bit about reporting on how to create a pretty report and how to generate an HTML report. But in the next video, we'll be talking about creating a very, very decent report with all the logging information, bug report and all those stuff, which is going to be very, very awesome as well. So let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water, and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. Reporting or living documentation. Cucumber by itself is a living documentation, right? Since you can see that the feature files are much more readable and understandable as shown in the screenshot below. So it is much readable. But we need to have a living documentation or reporting kind of stuff for every test execution once the test is done you need to have a report that this feature file has executed and this has passed and let's say if you have 100 feature files and if you want to tell users that there are 100 feature files and 90 feature files has got passed and 10 has got failed because of these issues reasons and if you have a decent html kind of report with all these informations instead of a business analyst or a manual test engineer going to the IntelliJ IDE and opening all these feature files and looking at it it is always very easy if you export this result into an HTML file and showing them the result right and that's what we're going to do in this video we have already discussed about the same concept in pickers for spec flow in our exit automation YouTube channel and we told how to run the test, how to generate a living documentation for or the spec flow feature files and how to link the test run with all the pass and fail result. So we're going to do exactly the same thing for Cucumber with Selenium for Java as well. So we are going to create the reporting beyond living documentation here. So as I already said, there are different other reporting options supported by Cucumber options attribute for reporting such as HTML, JSON, text file, etc. So we are going to look at some of these different reporting options, something like HTML and JSON. So for doing that, we need to specify Cucumber's option, something like this. We have a property called format and we can specify what kind of reporting option you need to generate, something like JSON or something like HTML. And you can see that the format is very, very simple. JSON colon, which directory you're going to create that. HTML colon, which directory do you want to create that particular file? So we're going to see all this option in this video. So for that, let's quickly see this in action and I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same project which we have been working in our previous video. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use the same test ng test runner and we are going to add what is called as another option. So the another option, as I already said, is nothing but format. So I'm going to choose the format here and let's say I want to create a JSON format of reporting. JSON is like JavaScript object notification. So it is not a very, very pretty decent report or something like that. But it will be very, very helpful if you want to export this JSON result to some other test reporting consuming option so that they can generate a pretty decent report for you. So I'm just going to generate it and probably we'll see how things work. So I need to generate this in what is called as the target folder and within this target folder I want to generate in let's say directly on the root folder. So target slash let's call this as cucumber.json. So I'm just going to save this and let me quickly run this test and see if it generates a json file for me. So right now it is running the test. All right, the test got executed and what I'm going to do is I will go to this target folder and you can see that right now we have something called as cucumber.json. So if I open this, you can see that it has a JSON report and it says that the result has got passed and there is a duration in milliseconds and there is a match location as who got initialized 
And in line number four, you have this uh, name for the scenario and you have the result pass 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 so for every step definition it is saying that it is passed and this is the total thing right but it is kind of not very pretty because it's just give the information to you but we are not integrating this to any of the html file where it can say that uh, it has run successfully and this scenario has got passed it is kind of raw right now right it's just a json file so in the next video we'll see how to leverage this json file more powerful while working with the open source tool that I said, right? So just hold tight. We can discuss about that in an, in our next video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the next option, which is nothing but the HTML report option. So for that, what I'm going to do, I will go back to my test runner and here I'm going to specify one more reporting option, something like this. So what I'm saying is, I'm going to generate a HTML file for target and I'm going to create a site folder and within this I want a cucumber hyphen pretty folder and within this folder just generate a HTML file for me right again it's very pretty straightforward so I'm just going to run the test there we go I'm just going to close this and now if I see this target folder you can see there is something called a sites folder Let's quickly hop over there and within this there's a cucumber pretty folder and there's an index.html. You can see that we have a feature file, right? We have the feature file and we have the scenario in here, but there is no result saying whether it has passed or failed. So we need to somehow integrate the cucumber.json file with this particular feature files HTML file and we can say whether it has got passed or failed. So this is what we're going to do in our next video. So we are going to integrate the living documentation with the test runner result into one report so that it can look more pretty and more meaningful. So living documentation along with the result, test run result. So this is how we can perform all this operation with these options available in our Cucumber options, right? So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.